She's ugly. But... <laughs> She's ugly, but she works. Locked up solid. Nice! Nice. Daddy likes. It's taken a lot longer than it should have. A lot longer than it should have. And it's about twice as expensive. So, here's the setup, right? We connect up right there. Boom. And uh, my drain valve. So that we don't have a repeat of the process. This is going to be tack welded right there. And then I'll put a spacer and tack welded down there. There is an overall flexing in the whole unit, which I assume is, is this rim flange down here. I'm kind of waiting to see if when the pump's running, if it shakes too hard. If it does, I'll strap it. However, when I went to go and have four feet of plain old black iron pipe threaded, I learned that the pipe threader, the only one in town, is broken. Not only broken, they don't know when or if they'll be able to fix this antique monstrosity. And apparently a brand new rigid commercial operation pipe threader is 10, 12 grand. So I was forced to buy it in one foot chunks, made from Chinesium, threaded on the other side of the ocean, crated up, shipped to me, and then a whole bunch of crappy unions. But, yeah, what are you going to do, right? It's uh, that or I drive 70 miles and uh, price and time bite the bullet for one foot chunks. It'll work. Gonna zap her, attach it, flip it, and then we'll continue. Okay, we have this put together. Alright, so I have this located now. That is the original end port from the old Vilbis tank. I've got it up here and I got it mounted sideways and that is what I will tap off of for all my stuff. I'll flip the ports around. This one will go down here to connect to my pressure regulator but should be just fine. And it's attached firmly to the tank. This is the unloader valve and I assume a one-way check valve and then that is where my pressure switch topped out of. So all of these are mounted uh, more or less within a, a few inch, maybe two inches of the heights of where they were before. And I'm hoping I'll be able to finesse my copper lines and get them to fit. I've removed it. I ground the welds on this side that I could reach and the two welds over there and then used a sawzall to cut that last one. If I had to do it over, I'd use a sawzall to cut both ends and only grind the centers. Whoops. With luck, that belt will continue to serve despite its now uh, slightly modified format. So now I'm down to the point of simply picking this up, oofda, right onto here. And yeah, then the attachment, then the replumbing, shove it into the corner, fire it up, hide behind something. No, I'm kidding. It'll be fine. Oh, that ought to work nicely. It's going to take up less floor space, although more, more height. I think I'm going to have to arrange it so that the shelf bar right there kind of goes in between. Anyways, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. So yeah, other than trying to decide, do I just want to weld this directly to it, and be done with this dang project, or should I make some sort of bracketry and bolt it? Ugh. Let's weld. It's been too long. 